Hey guys, Ziggy Dragon, and welcome back to the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke that I'm doing on this channel because I can. It has been forever since I've recorded any of this because I had to take a break from Pokemon, man. It's it's been stressing me out recently, but I think we're finally ready to take on the league. I may regret this horribly, but there's no point on dwelling on what could be. Let's do this. It's finally time to finish the Johto half of our game. I've already tested everything, I'm just gonna give my Pokemon one last heal just to make sure that they're all healed and stuff uh, before I go into it, just in case it's not like they're almost dead whenever I leave. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be some changes to the team, as you'll notice for a second, like Mouse Boy is still here with us, but there have been some drastic changes that I've made, including kind of sort of breaking one of my own rules. Um, let's take a look. So, <laughs> as you can see, I may have overleveled just a teensy weensy eensy little bit. Uh, <laughs> also, ignore the Dragonite. Ignore that. I, what I figured was that if Lance gets three Dragonites and they're all under the level that they should be, it's fair that I should at least get one, you know? Plus, uh, also, I brought Lugia in because, like, I'm using Lugia as a failsafe. In case one of these guys dies, Lugia will pull us through that. Also, I'm probably going to use Lugia for Bruno because none of my Pokemon can really handle Bruno. And I'm really worried about his Pokemon, so, you know. Um, but yeah, I uh, actually reached out to the Pokemon community, uh, the Nuzlocke community, and they told me that this is probably the best team out of all the Pokemon that I have. So I've got, so let's take a look. We've got Mouse Boy, level 49, uh, Roll Out, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, and Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is mainly to take on Will. Will, uh, Will to counter Will, we brought in Shadow Claw. So. Anyway. Um, Blaze. Okay, so. Is our ability. And then, Glabina, level 49, with a Mystic Water, which means Water-type moves are boosted. Ice Fang, Surf, Dragon Dance, and Hyper Beam. One of the most OP Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. Gyarados is just straight OP across the board. Look at that health. Intimidate 2 as well, which is going to be very helpful against those Dragonites, because they've got absurdly high uh, attack stats, and I am very nervous about that, because none of our team has exceptionally great defense. Well, most of our team has pretty decent defense. Only Mouse Boy and Floofer are a bit lacking in it. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, I actually got told by the community that Dragon Dance Gyarados is one of the most overpowered Pokemon in the game and will sweep the Elite Four. <laughs> um. Problem is, I'm not sure when the best time to set up with Dragon Dances is, so, you know. Obviously, on a one that has a type disadvantage to us that can't really do damage to us but we can dish it out to them see like if it was like a pokemon uh, yeah we'll see how dragon dance works out i mainly just brought globina on as like a fail safe just in case our dragonite goes down i was gonna bring goliath i was going to bring goliath but uh it doesn't give us coverage and it gives us a type disadvantage because you're four times weak to uh, electric, so. I brought Floofer, of course. Floofer is one of the MVPs of the game, and, um, is going to be able to get us through. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I brought, uh, Glabina on. Glabina is just gonna be kind of an all around sweeper. Um, Surf isn't going to really help us much, but I did put, I'm glad I did put Ice Fang on Glabina, because Lance has a lot of dragon types, and dragon types are weak to Ice type. So, you know, smart move there. Um, however, two of Lance's Pokemon are not Dragon-type, and that is Charizard and his Aerodactyl. Um, Aerodactyl is still Flying-type, so it's still weak to Ice, but if my memory serves me correctly, Charizard is not weak to Ice. So, that's why Floofer will go up against his Charizard, because, um, you know smart thinking. Dragonia, of course. Dragonia. Um, 
I realized that if I uh, ignore that move there for a second, I'm actually gonna blur that out until you can see that. But um, Dragonia, I realized that Lance has three Dragonites. We don't have anything good to counter him with. We needed a strong, good dragon type to counter him with. However, there's a bit of a, a, a skitch in our plan here. If, and I mean if, Lance manages to get Outrage off, we are Because if Lance whips out that level 50 Dragonite and I swoop in Dragonia for, for uh, and he goes with Outrage, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm going to die. A horrible, horrible death. Um, I was actually considering switching to set for this, but um, I don't know if you know this. I'm not. I I know it's kind of busted uh, to to use uh, switch battle mode, and it's like the easy mode of the game, like unofficial easy mode. And like, if you use set, then it's, it gives the opponent a fair uh, chance to actually win the game. And you can't just bring out your, like, you can't just get clean switches every single time you knock out the opponent's Pokemon. You can only get a clean switch whenever you lose a Pokemon. Which, um, I don't know if you know this. I don't want any of these boys dying. These guys are my boys, and I love them to death. Uh, if all else fails, we brought Lugia, who has like. Attack and special attack are really the only things that are kind of lacking a little bit, but comparatively to Dragonia, like, I'd say, like, Maboy is probably our second best bet here. Tanky across the board, and, and it has pressure, which means Lance, using Outrage, would waste Outrage more. But it takes a couple turns to wear off, so, you know. <clears throat> it's not quite as good as Spite, but it does definitely help. Uh, with extrasensory rain dance. Oh, 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 I forgot to mention. On Dragonia, we have Extreme Speed, which it had before. We have Aqua Tail, which is a pretty good move. Um, I debated getting rid of it for Blizzard, but um, I decided against it because Blizzard isn't really that accurate. And if all else fails, we have Ice Fang, but I really feel like I should. I was going to go for Ice Beam, but uh, the only way you can get Ice Beam is by gambling in the uh, game corner and it's Goldenrod Knight. Decided I had a case of not wanting to deal with that bullcrap, so you know. And, um, this move that I've kept blurred out, that's Draco Meteor. <laughs> I know, I know, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit by bringing Draco Meteor into the mix. Because if you take a look at this, if you don't know what Dra Draco Meteor is, take a look at that. One of the most powerful moves ever in Pokemon. Ever. I mean, I know it sharply reduces the user's special attack stat, but, um... I was debating giving Dragonia a choice specs to uh, counterattack this, but I feel like... Um, we probably should be good. Like, Draco Meteor is probably just gonna sweep Lance, honestly. I mean, if all else fails, we will give him the choice specs, but... You know, if I'm feeling nervous, going into it. Also, um, since it's just like a temporary battle drop, if I switch... Dragonia out and then switch him back in. We negate this. So, if as long as Draco Meteor lands every single time we use it, it will sweep Lance. But, as you know, the classic Pokemon rule if it's not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. So, we just have to pray to the RNG gods that Draco Meteor doesn't miss every time I use it. Because we are toast if it does. Oh, that I forgot to mention. One of Drance's, um... <laughs> Hang on. We're gonna take a look at Lance. Because I'm pretty sure... Bad, bad things could happen if things go very wrong. Yeah, see, like, let's take a look at his team here. Floofer will go against his Gyarados, and that'll be... That'll be that. We'll be able to knock him out quick. His Dragonite, uh, his Aerodactyl, again, we should be able to knock out. If not with, uh, Floofer, then with, um, I'm probably gonna send Globina against his Aerodactyl and his Charizard, now that I think about it, because Thunder is not accurate. Uh, Floofer is also gonna be able to combat the Dragonites, but to kind of a lesser extent, because, um, I mean, I know Dragon-types aren't weak to, in fact, they resist Electric, uh, rock, Ice, Dragon, Fairy. Yeah, that's the problem. 
Dragonites are four times weak to ice. One of Lance's Dragonites has Blizzard. That is bad. And he has Thunder Wave, which is one of the most evil moves I've ever seen in my life. Just paralyze, 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 paralyze. It's just incessant, incessant paralysis. And it, you get sick of it after a while, you know? And um, Dragon Rush is definitely inaccurate, which is definitely why I brought Draco Meteor on. And Outrage, look at this. It will hit. If he uses it, it will hit every single time it is used. And that's bad. Also, what level? Just, just, a, just a further cement that Lance is a cheater. What level does Dragonite learn that move? 64. Lance is a hackser. He uses an action replay and cheats. Like... It's not fair. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to put Blizzard on one of my Pokemon just to... Just to combat his Dragonites. But Draco Meteor should be able to handle. Like, because what I predict is going to happen, he's going to go with his Gyarados, and I'm going to bring Floofer out and knock it out of the running, like, immediately. However, he's probably going to pull out one of his Dragonites. There's a, there's a very good chance he pulls out one of his Dragonites, yeah. There's an even better chance he pulls out the level 50 one. Because he knows how powerful I am, and he's gonna be like, I'm not gonna let this guy win. So, if we get unlucky, Lance's Dragonite could sweep my team. And that is very bad possibility that could happen. I'm praying that what he does is goes Gyarados, Aerodactyl, Charizard, so that way we just have to worry about sweeping the Dragonites and he can't pull any of this garbage. Like, Aerodactyl is probably the only one that I'm not really worried about. I mean, yeah, I, you know what? Ooh. Hopefully, hopefully Dragonia is strong enough to just sweep Lance and get it over with. I mean, I will send Globina out against his Charizard if Globina survives, but I'm not thinking about that. I don't want to think about the inevitability that Globina may die. Because <laughs> that's not fun. It's not fun to think about. So just really, all I can do really is pr cross, cross my, cross my fingers, cross my fingers and pray. And I've wasted 13 minutes, so I'm just gonna start a separate recording uh, and get to the point. We're gonna finish off with our dudes. But yeah, Draco Meteor is super powerful and it's crazy. Again, if all else fails, my boy. Also, my boy has Rain Dance, and that boosts the power of Glabina's moves. So Glabina and my boy teamed up, could end up sweeping the Elite Four as well, but I'm not going to count on that for a victory, so. Finally, we have Bakes Me with a Muscle Band that boosts physical attack, and look at this thing, physical attack. That is the most overpowered physical attack I've ever seen. All of its moves are physical, and I will be able, I will probably be able to destroy. Uh, if all else fails, Bakes Me will br bring us through. Because it has Hammer Arm, so I finally have a move that's a good counter to Karen. Unfortunately, Karen has a lot of other tricks up her sleeve, but that's kind of what I was expecting from a dark type, so. So I'm gonna pull up my uh, little charty charts here. I know it's kind of like, uh, but like, this is all for just to make sure that I remember what's going on. So Will's gonna be a pushover Obviously, Will's gonna be a freaking pushover. Um, Koga, Koga should also probably be a pushover. The only thing that I will say is these, his Muck and his Crobat are probably going to be a little bit difficult. But honestly, Fortress is probably gonna go down. As long as it doesn't use Explosion, we should be just fine. But uh, you know, so with Koga, I'm definitely gonna lead with um, with Koga. I'm gonna lead. With Mouse Boy, with for Will, I'm gonna lead with.
I'm gonna lead with Mouse Boy on Will and Koga. On Bruno, I'm gonna lead with my boy. Which I know feels a little cheap, but the only thing I'm worrying about is his Hitmonchan right here because it's got all the freaking punches and I'm not willing to deal with that, so you know. Also, his Hitmon top has counter, which means if we don't yeah. If we don't Oko that thing, it will Oko, my boy. And I cannot let that happen. And also, finally, is Karen. And Karen is probably going to give us the most trouble. Because she leads with Umbreon, which means out of the gate, I have to lead with Baked Me. And just pray that she doesn't get those double teams up and confuse Riz and just absolutely swipe me. Only problem is Umbreon is fast, makes me slow. So, what she's probably going to do is lead with Confuse Ray, confuse me, I'll punch myself in the face, and makes me dead. So, that could be bad, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Um, and then we have counters to all of our other types. For Houndoom, we have Globina, as long as Globina doesn't die, of course. We have Mouse Boy for Vileplume. We have. For Murkrow, Murkrow might also be difficult, but I think for Murkrow, I think I could be able to get away with using Floofer. Gengar is what worries me here. Gengar is probably the most worrisome Pokemon in the league other than Lance's Dragonites to me, because that thing has Destiny Bond, and I don't like that move. Not one bit. Because <laughs> if you don't know, Destiny Bond. If she uses Destiny Bond, and her Gengar outspeeds my boy, which is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my boy to go up against uh, her Gengar. <laughs> oh dear. If my boy doesn't outspeed this Gengar, which it probably should, because if we take a look at Gengar's stats, I'm pretty sure its base speed is pretty low. I'm sorry, this is just a lot of... Oh no. Uh oh. Well... Let's let's just pray that Gengar does not outspeed, and we can use uh, we can Oko that thing before it gets a chance to use Destiny Bond. Because if it uses Destiny Bond and I kill it, it takes down one of my Pokemon with it, and I'm praying to God that does not happen. But with all my blabbering, yabbering, jabbering out of the way, we gotta get this league started. All right, let's go. And of course, we lead with Will. Once you enter the store, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You can now exit it once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. <sighs> Alright, Will. Let's go. Let's do this. Happy face? Last boy nodded slowly. Alright, boys. It all comes down to this. Will we win? Or will we lose? This is the decider. Because if this goes wrong, our Nuzlocke ends short. And we don't get to red. And that would make me sad. <laughs> Enough yammering, let's just do it. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Right, let's do it, Will. Keep going down. Come on, Will. What you got, huh? Alright, he's leading with his first Zatu. Which means... Uh, as long as I land the Shadow Claw, I should be good. Yeah, Shadow Claw. Get him out of here. Come on. Oko it. No! Ooh. Oh, of course it goes for you. Ray. Why would I not go for Confuse Ray? Of course it goes for Confuse Ray. Do I have anything that heals Confusion? Um... Because if not, this could not... Ooh, wait, no, wait, I have Berries. Berries... Wait, no. no berries are in the same pocket! Alright, I don't want to use our first full heal yet. Hopefully this heals Confusion. Yeah, this does heal Confusion. Okay. But over at Status Trouble. Okay. Okay, it's gonna use Psychic here. Ooh. That's quite a bit of damage right there, and I do not like that. 
Alright, we're gonna Shadow Claw you again. Luckily, we outspeed it, so that's good. That is good. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Zatu's down. Alright, that's one. Well, who's he going with next? He can go Jinx, Slowbo, Executor, or Zatu. He is gonna go with Slowbro. Oh, he has Water Pulse on that thing. Okay, I know what I'm doing for sure this time around. So if he's gonna go with Slowbro... <sighs> Floofer. Go with Floofer. Floofer is probably the best one to combat Slowbro right now, so oh, we're gonna get Floofer out here and uh, Electro Bolt this thing. Hopefully, I'm praying to God Thunder lands right now, because we can destroy this thing. Yes! Thunder landed. We got it. There goes Slowbro. Or we should. Sorry, Gen 4's bars just move too slow. I, I can't. I have anxiety because of that slow movement. Alright, he's sending an Executor now, which means we can switch back to uh, Mouse Boy and get away with it. See why people don't use Switch? It's so busted. This is my first Nuzlocke, though, so I feel like I can probably get away with it because A, this is my first Nuzlocke, and B, I'm very bad at Pokemon. Alright, come on. I'm just gonna flamethrower you. You're not even worth my time. Get out of my life. What moves do you have on you again? Nothing good, really. You have Hypnosis, and that's the only thing I'm really worried about. And it's gone. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. I'm done. Nice. I probably shouldn't have grinded them up that much. I, this, I'm gonna be OP for freaking lands. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie, my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. Alright, Jinx. You killed Butter. This is my revenge. This is my revenge. For Butter! <laughs> ah. Ooh. Okay, I'm wrecking. I'm wrecking across the board. Which means all he has left is his Zatu. And that is good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get away with the same strats again, though, because... Ooh, this thing has Ominous Wind. How much damage does that do? 60. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, it's got two keys for it. It's got Psychic, of course, so as long as that doesn't crit, we should be good. Yeah, Psychic is strong, but we are stronger. Uh, Aerial Ace... Mm, Aerial Ace probably doesn't worry me that much. Yeah, it's only got 60. It always hits... We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, Confuse Ray is really the only thing I'm worried about on this thing, so as long as... Hoping we get a crit on the Shadow Claw, because that would help us tons. We Psychics don't even give up when they're last down to the Pokémon. Did I have a stroke? I don't think I did. Alright, Shadow Claw this boy. Come on, crit. 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 That's a, not a crit. I pressed Alt. Oh, that's a berry. Oh, you suck. Oh, you suck. Okay, it's, it's up to half, though, so that's good. Oh, you're leading with Psychic, eh? Okay. As long as Shadow Claw lands, I'm good. Will's done! Will's done. Alright. Alright, that's Will down. Will was probably going to be the easiest out of them, of course, because that's why they put him first. I can't believe it. Believe it, sucker. When those defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling nice till I stand above all of this. The experience of the something. Alright, I'm gonna save state this. Uh, not save it, but just save state. Just to make sure that, like, if I lose all my save data, I, uh, don't go all the way back before the fight with Whip, because that would be tragic. Um, but I gotta go eat some food, so I'll be back later. All right, I'm back. I uh, just had to have dinner and uh, and Kyler. Um, but I'm gonna continue on now with what I was doing. Do I have any left of berries? No, I do not have any of berries. So I cannot restore the move PPs. But luckily, I'm not grinding, so that probably shouldn't be an issue. Of course, it doesn't. Um, how many orange berries? Why? Okay, why would I why would I have orange berries? God. Um, I wanna be fully healed before I go into the next battle. <laughs> Close enough. 
Close enough. Four points shouldn't make the difference, right? No, it shouldn't. Shouldn't. Alright. Thanks, Will. We're moving on now, though. Here we go. Next battle is Koga. Koga shouldn't be too hard either. So I'm gonna lead with uh, Fighter Boy and Koga the Elite Four. They live in the shadows. A ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fwa ha 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 ha. Fwa ha ha ha. Pokemon are not merely a proud brute force. You shall see soon enough. Well, I know that already, you stupid spiky hair weirdo. Ninja, apparently. I don't know why he's a ninja. Like, not that I'm judging, I'm just saying, like, I, I don't understand why he's a ninja, but. Alright, I'm gonna set your I'm gonna set your spider on fire. Spidey go bye bye. Spidey go bye bye. There they go. There's a there's one down. Aria dose is down. 747. Let's go with next. Fortress. Oh, explodey boy. We gotta get this boy out of here. Alright, we gotta get explosion out of here. Come on, don't explode, don't explode. Yes! Muck. Alright, that's a poison type. What's good against poison types? I completely forget. Ground, bug, and psychic. Oh, ground is good! Oh, that's good. Okay, so I don't have to use my boy. I can just use Bakesman. Alright, that's good. Earthquake. Let's do it. Oh no, his crowbat is poison flying! Arr. Blast it. Yeah, get out of here, muck. Get out of here, muck. Venomoth. Let's keep him in. Let's keep him in. Because if I can hit him with a rock type move, it should go down pretty easy. Just hit him with Stone Edge and you should be good. Oh, don't Toxic! No! Don't use Toxic! <sighs> Alright, Crobat. Oh, Koga. I'm done with your shenanigans. Let's do this. Labina. Go in there, Labina. One Pokemon left! Ha ha ha! I've been counting on this from the very beginning! Wonder why? You brought your... Strongest Pokemon at last. There goes your attack, buddy. Ice Fang. Oh, don't double team! Okay, good, it was a crit. <sighs> Thank God. I'm counting my lucky stars on that one, to be honest. We got a level 50 Gyarados on our side. Nice. Sweet. Player defeated Elite Full Koga. Ah, you have proven your worth. Sweet. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. My mustard is terrible. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. <gasps> Alright, cool. Uh, I need to use an antidote. Because makes me is poisoned. Alright, I think I, I shouldn't use a potion. It's a waste. It's a waste of a potion. I will fully heal, though, before I go into Lance's battle, because... Ha, ha, ha.